guys, I was watching another uh, YouTuber make a little uh, gadget from an old servo. Uh, you might you might have seen him before. His name is uh, Justin Updike. I'll put the link in the video uh, so you guys can go and check out his stuff. So check this out. He took a servo, an old servo, and he took it apart and put some uh, LEDs on it. And that gave me an idea. So I asked him if I could borrow his idea, and uh, this is what I came up with. Check it out. Now, right now, I have them all hooked up to my receiver. So basically what I did is I took three servos. One, two, and three. Took them apart and wired them up onto my breadboard just to show you something. Like, I haven't done anything concrete with it yet, but I want to show you something. And you can do with it what you want after, but this is really cool. So if you have old servos laying around, you can have a lot of fun with them. Check this out. Okay, so I'm going to power it up. Now, they need some really fine adjustments so they don't flicker and flash. Ideally, you might want to go to the electronics store and get yourself a precision potentiometer with the same uh, resistance range as the ones that are in your servos. Basically you're replacing the motor with LEDs. Now check this out. This is the third channel on my FlySky radio. Okay, right now the light is off. It's adjusted so it's off. I flick the third channel. I get a light. Yeah, let me turn my light off. See that? No. Let me give it some more. Alright. The third channel is on. Off. On. Off. Check this out. Now I'm going to throttle in. What do I do? I get a light. Now this light you can put in your exhaust port of your car, of your RC car, and what you can do is maybe buy a flashing LED. So let go to throttle, it's gone. Power it in, it's on. Now watch what happens when I hit the brakes. Whoop, I got a brake light. Check it out, that's pretty cool. So that's one servo. Third channel, that's another servo. Again, just the electronics. Now. I added a third one to the steering. So now if I steer, I get one side. And if I steer the other way, I get the other side. Again, you add some uh, flashing LEDs. See again, it needs to be adjusted. It's a bit off. And it seems adjusted now. So I get right, left, right, left, right, left. So if I add, so if you wanted to, you can add some flashing LEDs. So once you're on the channel, the LED will flash as if it was one of your uh, blinkers on your car. Same thing with the left side. So right, left, throttle. Yeah, see? The adjustments are very sensitive. Right, left, right, left. Throttle in. And here, right, left, right, left. Throttle. Reverse. Third channel. Third channel off, 
and that's that. So what do you think of that? Isn't that pretty cool or what? It may not be as fancy as those little kits, but you got some old servos laying around that are all worn out, but the electronics still work. Hell, make your own. Uh, as far as the LEDs go, uh, most of the, the three servos that I tested put out about 4.5 volts. The LEDs I have are rated for that range, uh, which is around 5 volts. So my LEDs are fine. Uh, you might have LEDs that are rated for 3 volts. If you do, you need to add a resistor to it. Uh, in order to do so, you need to check your forward voltage, let's say 3 volts, uh, current, and the voltage that you're inputting, which would be about 4.5 volts. But you need a multimeter to check the output of your servo. So it's a little iffy in this net. If you have any questions about that, uh, powering uh, LEDs. There's a lot of information on Google, so just do uh, uh, LED resistor selector, and there's already actually automated uh, pages on Google that'll uh, that'll help you with that. You just punch in the numbers that you have, and it'll give you what resistor you need to put. And uh, as far as how many LEDs you can put. I don't know, I put quite a few on this the other day and uh, it just powered them all. It didn't care. It's all relevant to how much power your receiver puts out to your servo and how much power your servo puts out to your LEDs. So I'm guessing you could probably power at least 10 of them uh, with these on one single channel. That's it. Just a lot of fun. Very quick little video for you. and. Uh, Let's see what you guys do with this. Later.